Hello, Potato, and welcome to the 17th Quarantine Log. Yep, 17 of them. And I'm gonna keep doing them as long as I'm here, whether you like it or not, and judging by the viewing numbers, you don't. So today's gonna be something a little quicker, I think, than we've been doing. Uh, we're not going anywhere near the 20 minute mark today, because today all I have to show you is something that I ordered actually back before the world went all pear-shaped. Um, and the second part of it just arrived yesterday, and I've been waiting for them. If you have been following me on Instagram, at Void of Intelligence, you've already seen these. They are my Another Dirty Room key tags. Close up. Uh, there were three of them on offer this time. There were three on offer this time. I ordered the wood grain and the gold. There was also an orange kind of Howard Johnson's themed one. And if you don't recognize what these are supposed to be, because um, honestly, it's, I think it's a little bit before my time as well. I don't remember ever staying in a hotel where we had key tags quite like this. Um, it used to be a thing with hotels and motels that they would come with a key tag on them with the name of the hotel, the room number, and this little disclaimer, drop in any mailbox, return postage guaranteed, meaning that let's say you found one of these on the street, um, you could just throw it in the mailbox and it would be sent back to the hotel. Because I'm guessing maybe room keys are expensive or rekeying rooms is probably expensive. Um, so another dirty room has copied that idea with, uh, with these. And I've seen replicas of these before. Um, last year, I know, I think it was last year, maybe the year before, Box Lunch sold ones from the Overlook Hotel that were like this kind of thing. So you may have seen them even if you've never seen them from a real hotel. So another dirty room I've mentioned before, I mentioned it back in one of the earliest quarantine logs, um, is a YouTube show that I really, really enjoy. Um, it's by Dan Bell, who his YouTube channel and Instagram both are This Is Dan Bell. Um, does that as part of his various documentary making. The show generally involves him and a couple of other guys, Rick Serra, and then in the original season, uh, Will Kropinski, later on, Brennan Evangelista, going to really, really cheap hotels and basically performing an autopsy on the room. They will go through and check out the bathroom, take apart the bed, look for bed bugs, roaches, signs of mold. Um, it's very entertaining. Uh, you may you may think twice about ever staying in a hotel again, but it's a very entertaining show. It's very foul mouthed, so if uh, you don't like the language, you may want to skip it. Unfortunately, there's also a number of them, and I think they're still up on YouTube, um, of ADR Live, which were things that Dan Bell streamed with any number of people from the from the normal show. Sometimes Rick would be there. Sometimes Brennan would be there. Um, there was a new person he started working with a lot called Cochise. Uh, I can't remember his last name, nor, but yeah, I know he's at Curly Cheddar on Instagram. I don't remember what his YouTube channel is, though. I don't think it's Curly Cheddar, but he's Curly Cheddar on Instagram, and he's interesting and does some interesting artwork, and you should check him out as well. But the show is a lot of fun to watch. Um, the live ones, of course, are much less structured and completely unedited, as where the normal episodes are actually edited down into a concise, clean format. <clears throat> but yeah, Dan Bell's put these up for sale before, not these particular ones. I unfortunately have missed out on all the previous revisions. Um, but I got these ones, and the cool thing is Mr. Bell has even autographed the backs of them. Yep. I mean, I know it's not as good as uh, supporting his Patreon, but, I mean, it is a way of, of both showing some support to him and his work, and to give myself, you know, a nice little tchotchke that I can hang up here in the void space um, to, to remember it by. I mean, I have a number of things around here that relate to things I'm into. I have books by Mer Lafferty and J.C. Hutchins and Scott Sigler, who are all podcasters I've been into over the years. Um... And of course, I showed you back in an earlier quarantine log the Barry Lewis cooking stuff we received and the Binging with Babish cookbooks. 
But yeah, so now I have something from Dan Bell. I have another dirty room keychain. It'd be nice if you did another dirty room ashtrays. I would buy another dirty room ashtray. I don't know where I'd put it in here. I don't smoke. I certainly would never use it. But I wouldn't mind one. But yep, we have in the gold line, we have number 217. In the wood grain, we have number 318. They are numbered. Of course, Mr. Bell keeps number one for himself. Uh, it'd be nice to have gotten number 42, but obviously I didn't jump on these quick enough. But I'll try in the next round. Next time he does some new ones, I will probably buy some more and hopefully get lower numbers. But, yep, that's it for today. I just wanted to show these off. They're just plastic, wood grain, shiny gold. Have the ADR logo on them. They're nice. They're nice things. Tangible things of a show that I enjoy. And that'll do it for today. So remember to wash your hands properly, cough into your elbow, practice your safe social distancing, and I guess now wear a mask when you go out. Um, yep, that's apparently a thing. I'm assuming not so much to protect yourself, but to protect other people from you. And remember to stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next video.